All right, let's make us some train tracks. Fresh project. We're going to go to the left, 3D scene, click on that. We are going to rename it to world. All right, then we're going to either click the plus or right click and add child node. And we're going to need a mesh instance. Mesh instance right here. All right, click that. On the right here, you're going to need to set its mesh. We're going to make it a plane. New plane. And then we're going to go down here to its transform properties. And we're going to change its scale to, uh, what do you say, 20 tab. Mm, one's fine, tab 20. All right, I like that. And then we're going to click here, this material on the right, and empty new spatial material. Click on the material. Go down here to its albedo. Change the color to something else. Uh, hey, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. All right, the green. To keep the green. We're going to go over here on the left and rename that to ground. What just happened? <laughs> ground. All right. I'm gonna highlight our world again. And we're going to make right click a child and we're going to do path. Okay. And search it up here if you don't have it. You'll know it's the right one because it's pink for 3D. Blue stuff is 2D. So create. I have a path on the left here. I'm going to rename this to track. And when it's highlighted, you'll see up here you got. Select point, add point, remove point, and close loop. And if you look here, you can do other things. And I'll show you what those are. So, I recommend hitting 7 on the number pad. Go to top down view. Roll that in a little bit. So for your first point, hold control and just click somewhere, somewhere around the top. Boom. Okay. Second point, keep control held and just click somewhere else. If you don't like that, right click. It'll get rid of it. So hold control and just make a loop. Make some kind of weird track thing. And when you get close enough to the edge here. We're just going to go up here and hit close loop. And now we have a path. Okay? You can use this for roads, you can use this for trails. What we're going to do is right click on this track and click add child. And now we're looking for CSG polygon. Type that in up here CSG polygon. Click that. I'm going to hit F to focus it and scroll in. The front view is really all you need to worry about because this is just kind of showing you what it looks like. If you, you know, it just extrudes it out. So, this is going to sit, zero, 00 is on the blue. Keep that in mind when you're making any kind of polygon. Okay, so we want the track to be centered here. So we need to make the other side of this. You adjust it with these little handles here, but I don't like the widgets in the way. So what I do is I go over here, top right, where it says polygon. Click on that, and you can adjust them all manually. Intimidating, I don't know, maybe, but it goes clockwise. So the bottom left is currently zero zero one zero one one and one zero. So we know 
So we want negative to be one. I recommend just doing one axis at a time. You know, worry about the x's first. Negative one. And these can stay positive. So now let's do the y's. Y. First one can stay zero. It's on the ground. So we're going clockwise. The next one. And it's going to be a scoop point one. And then next one also needs to be point one. The other one can stay zero. So to add that to your path, you have to come down here to where it says mode. Change it from depth to path. All right, if you zoom out, nothing will happen. Why? Because it doesn't know what the path is. It's just saying, like, I need to follow a path. So right under here, path node, you can drag your path in from over here. Or you can just, oh, I lost my CSG polygon. Or you can just click assign on the right here. Assign with your path. And voila, you have a train track. Although admittedly a little too low poly. So let's do seven again on the number path. Let's highlight our track. And you'll see your points again. Now what you do, if you want to move any of your points, just click on them and move them. Alright, and if you accidentally move this one here, it messes everything up. You can just close the loop again. But what I recommend first is deleting that one, you know, the last point, adding a new one, and then closing the loop. And you'll see there's still a little gap here. Fix that, you would go on the right side. Uh, highlight your polygon. On the right side, you'll see right here, path adjoined click that and it'll fill it in okay so what we're gonna do is highlight your track again and on any of these points that you don't like the curve of hold shift and drag away from the dot get these handles and just rotate them around keep shift held down and you can make a curve the further away they are the bigger the curve so now you can just kind of Make some nice smooth curves all the way around your track. Again, you can readjust any of these dots at any time. Uh, I keep losing my mouse here. That one didn't need a curve, but. All right, some of these are a little extreme for a train, but hey, just we're learning here. Okay, and that looks pretty cool. But we need some kind of texture. Unless you're doing it all in 3D, then this is fine. We're gonna texture it though. So I just went on Google. Train texture here, and it was vertical. So I just flipped it, and made it horizontal, so it'll follow our track better. Click that, drag it in. And it should show up in engine, and it did. So we need to highlight our polygon again, and. Scroll back up, nope, down, where's its material? It doesn't have one. I'm gonna click it, new spatial material. White's fine, because we're just gonna cover it up. And take your picture, texture, and drag it onto that material. Now, you have some kind of track with graphics, fancy. I'm gonna hold shift left mouse. 
or middle mouse click, drag to somewhere I can see. And it looks kind of ugly. How do we fix that? Well, you got to go to the material, click on it, scroll down here to the UVs, and you want to change one of these two. This one? No, that makes it longer. So let's leave that at one. And we want the Y. So click and drag to the right. Start to see. Keep dragging. Keep going. Start to see it form a zooming out is what it's doing. Right around here. That's that seven. We'll go seven point eight. Not really centered. We'll just do round it up to eight. Still not centered, I don't think. Maybe? We'll see. Anyway, now you have a track. This is fine if this is as far as you want to take it. Me, I want to take it one step further and add 3D rails. Probably get away with that with normal mapping, but we're going to actually make them. So I'm going to call this rename a polygon to ballast. I think that's what the rocks and stuff are called. Okay, and now we're just going to highlight our track again, right click, add child node, another CSG polygon, hit F to focus it, scroll in, now, you can do this two ways, you can make a U shape, just have one object, which might be sufficient. I was going to make two separate rails. I think it's the same. It's the same either way. Draw call lies. I don't know what you guys want to do, but I'm going to go with two separate rails. And I'll show you why. Rail L. Okay. Well, I don't know where it's going to be on our path. So for now, I'm just going to do half. So again, you can hit Y to make sure it's snapped or go up here. Snap. You can drag this over. See, I just get so annoyed with these handles. It's not letting me have fun. Okay. So over here on the right again. I'm going to do X's first. We're going to do negative 0.5. And negative 0.5. This time, since it's going to be a rail, we want it to be thin. So, and negative 0.4. And negative 0.4. Now it's going to be offset. You can see here, come on, mouse. You can see the blue axis. And uh, it'll be offset that much. Okay? Now that rail's a little tall. So I'm going to go through the Y's now. Zero is the ground. That's fine. The ones are going to be changed to point two two. Point two, twice as tall as the ballast was. So point two. And that looks like a decent rail. Since they're going to be similar, come up here and control D on this one. Make a second rail. I'm going to change that to rail R. And then I'm just going to take all of these move them over so back on the right polygon pool array start with the x's change the negatives positives good life advice Point five. Point five. oops not the y Point four. Now we have two rails. 
put them on our path. Again, we gotta do the same thing. We gotta go down here to where it says mode. Right under the uh, vectors, I guess you call them. And change it to path. Assign it a path, which will be your track. And do the same for the other rail. So depth, path, path name. I'm gonna drag in the path because I haven't tried that yet. And if you scroll out, you have rails. Isn't that cool? Now what I would do for the rails is maybe come down to material and make a new spatial material. Leave it white, but come down to roughness and make it something less, so 0.25 maybe. And then metallic. One, they're metal, they're, there we go. Do the same for the other one. Going to go down to material, visual material, change metallic to one, change your roughness, 0.25, now our, Fancy track has fancy rails. Now you see, keep losing my mouse, sorry. See how they're off? And we know the rails are centered perfectly to this. So what we can do here is come back to our ballast object, go to its UVs, and just click and drag left or right just to slide it around till it's pretty much centered. You can eyeball it. Good enough for me. To adjust the rails, we just go back to our polygons and change. Do them all by one. So instead of negative 0.5, it's going to be negative 0.4 or 0.1, I guess. Negative 0.5 to negative 0.4, negative 0.4 to negative 0.3, and so on. And 3, negative 0.3. So one's left side, one's right side. It looks better. Let's do the same to the other. Come back up. And 0.5 becomes 0.4, 0.4. 4 becomes 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and it's better. I mean, this is a track. So you can just look at it for a minute. You made that. All right, be proud. And you can see some of these are a little off. Like here, for example. But we'll get to that, maybe. I'm not actually sure why that's off. Anyway, I'll figure that out. We'll get you in the next one. Because for now, we've got a track with 3D rails. So yeah, make sure you control S, save your scene.